guys hello welcome back to my channel so this is the first video i am doing in the year 2016 and we are in the 19th day already guys i'm slacking i am seriously slacking but i'm trying to get my act together it's the new year guys so this year um there's going to be a lot of changes in my life and um last year i think my motto for last year was um the best is yet to come and last year was my best year yet um, so I think the motto for my year, the the word that I am carrying through through the months um, of 2016 is that this is going to be my year of unmerited favour. When I say unmerited favour, I mean favour that you don't deserve, favour that you didn't expect, favour that... Um, that you know was out of the blue favor that where others have gone and um they've not succeeded you've gone and you've succeeded this is going to be my year of unmerited favor and this is going to be your year of unmerited favor as well my prayer for this you and for myself this year is this year is going to be filled with laughter so much joy favor if you believe in him and um you you know you believe that everything that he says in his word is um is yes and amen every promise that he has for us is yes and amen um and then there is nothing you cannot do man this year like you know seize those opportunities go to those places that you thought that people were going to turn you away and say this is this place is not for you go to those places and um everywhere you go it will just um it will just bless you it will keep you it will enlarge your territory people will look at you and say this person is truly you know is truly blessed by god that is what i have you know gone forth into the year with and i am super excited for 2016 i am um, that's my little intro i know i've been gone for about two months um, actually about a month but um anyway so yeah so back to this video in today's video i am just going to be doing a, a beauty haul um i haven't done i haven't done a haul in a really long time and i think it's just because um i don't tend to accumulate things in a short period of time so i always buy like you know i have random spurts of buying and then i just thought think there's no point in doing a haul because i've amassed all these st st things in like four months so there's no point but i just found that like in the last month um i have bought quite a few things and um obviously some of them i've started using and um, i'm not going to show them with you in this video but in the past two weeks um no in the past week <laughs> yeah in the past week i have bought these things that i'm going to show share with you guys i don't usually do this it's really weird it's really strange and when i looked at everything every, everything i got and i put them together i was like i have never bought this amount of beauty items or makeup items um in so, such a short pace, space of time so i decided that i was going to just come over here and share it with you guys in the video. so the first thing i am um i'm going to show you this is something i just recently bought i think this was about two days ago and it's the nivea soft um moisturizing cream um and this is suitable for everyday use i've been using this for the past three days just as a hand cream because it does say it's a face body and hand hands cream so i've been using it mainly as a hands cream but it is really nice it's really soft it's very refreshing and i bought this from super drug and it smells you know there's some hand cream that has like a very strong smell this doesn't it just smells like Nivea. If you use Nivea, it smells just like Nivea. It's very moisturizing on the hands. You know, when the crust comes, this will remove the crust for you. Now I'm going to show you the things that I ordered online and then I'll go on to the stuff that I bought in stores. I went ahead and bought um, some new Pro Conceal um, concealers. I love these concealers. They're like my favorite, my go-to, my everything. And I bought, this is the first time I was buying um, concealers, these concealers from eBay. I bought them from eBay in the UK for the first time ever. And so I got Fawn. Um, a lot of people have complained about this um this concealer i still love it it's still my go-to my most reach for concealer because i just love the undertones it suits me really well and then i went ahead and got also the pro conceal concealer this is a corrector and this is in the this is the orange corrector in gc 990 and so this looks like this 
and I've been using this for a couple of days now and I actually really like it as um, to correct and I made sure to, for my skin color I got the orange one if you're not sure about getting this it's really really good it really opens up your under eyes and um, makes it a good base for applying your concealer so these two use together I've been using them for a couple of days now and they are absolutely fantastic the thing that I ordered online I got these from Beauty Bay and um, I've been wanting to order from Beauty Bay for a really long time Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty I'm always going on there and like you know putting things in my cart but never actually going ahead to buy from them I don't know why or I don't understand why but um, I finally decided to buy something and I always knew that the day I buy something from Beauty Bay the first thing I would get would be from Anastasia Beverly Hills so I've ordered a couple more things from um, from this website so I'm waiting for them to come but um, I really wanted to do this video so um, since they're not here yet I'm just going to show you the two items so I got the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I got the Brow Wiz so the Brow Wiz obviously everybody on YouTube owns this and um, so yeah it just has the pencil part and the, and the brush part with the brow with I also bought the dip brow uh, dip brow pomade it comes like this and it has the um, as you can see I've started using this a little bit I got them in the color dark brown so the brow wiz and the pomade in the dark brown my only problem with this color is it it tends to look a bit ashy whenever I put it on I haven't used it like done my full eyebrow routine with it yet so I'm gonna wait until I've done that before I say whether I like it or not but from what I've done it does look it does come off a bit ashy and I do wish I'd gotten ebony so I ordered ebony as well so I'm hoping it comes today and then I can really um, try the both of them I got um, a few things from new look I have tried a couple of things I've tried their lipsticks I've tried their eyeliner I've tried what else from new look have I tried I've tried um, lipstick eyeliner. I've tried a, a lips pencil the eyebrow pencil I've tried a, quite a few things from um, new look so the first thing I got was the highlighter stick and it looks like this and um, it's really a nice gold color a nice gold color and I feel like this is going to make really good highlighter and it looks like that and the good thing about it it's really blendable and it gives you that glow look at my hand it's just glowing I don't know if you can see that but it's literally just glowing and I've only used a tiny little bit so yeah so I got that and then the next thing I got was just this eyeshadow palette i wanted something that had um the browns that i use on a regular basis so when i saw this i just knew i had to get it because it has the basic browns that you want when you're doing eyeshadow so it has a light one a medium one a dark one and then a pinkish one so this would be really good for you know carrying around in my makeup kit when i'm traveling or when i'm going somewhere and i don't want to carry my big massive one the colors are very pigmented and i think i might do a makeup tutorial showing you um like a go-to look that i would do with this palette then the next couple of things i bought from mac um, so the first one was I just got a replacement for my my powder this is my favorite powder in the entire world like you can't tell me nothing this is a mineralized skin finish in the in co color dark deepest or deepest dark so I ran out of my other one so I bought this one a couple of years ago I never used to use powders because I felt like they made me even more oily but then I picked this up and damn it's really really good this is my favorite powder like I have other powders but I will always reach for this because I just love how um, how light it is and the finish that it gives me it's just perfect. then I also picked up three lipsticks from Mac um, the first one that I bought was um, I bought because of YouTube and this is the antique velvet and um i think Necker from next to you she bought this she did um like a um 
uh, she bought quite a few lipsticks on MAC and then she did a video and she had this on and I just thought I need this in my life but I haven't had the chance to go to MAC so when I did the, not that I haven't had the chance to go to MAC yet yeah, the MAC that I have in, that is in Sheffield whenever I go in there there is always too many people and I wanted to like try it on my skin first before I bought it but there's always so many people around so I was in London over the weekend and I and I went into the MAC at King's Cross at St Pancras and it was empty and I was like yes so I went in and I got this and yes this is the color it's a nice brown it's not a true brown but it's a nice brown lipstick it looks amazing on um I'll do you guys a real quick swatch if you want to see what this will look like on a light skinned person go over to Neka's channel um because she's a lot lighter than I am and it looks amazing on I absolutely love it um and then I wanted a nude a nice pinkish nude lipstick um so I picked up Whirl 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 um so this is Whirl and it's just a nice nude but it's got a pinkish kind of look to it. I'm not very good at describing these colours. So this is a whirl here. So yeah, so I picked that up. And then the last thing that I got was my standard Ruby Woo. Um, I've had two of these now, yeah. The first one broke. The second one I lost. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The second one I lost and then I've just bought this one. And it's just your standard... Um, red lipstick that is perfect for every single skin shade in the in, underneath the sun it's just amazing the next couple of things are stuff that I bought from Boots two things are just my favorite lashes um, I haven't tried these ones on yet because um, I usually get I usually get a different one to these but I went into Boots and I saw these and they were on uh, by buy one get the second for half price so i picked up two of these and there is this the number 116 and the number 1110 so yeah so these are really nice i love eyelash lashes they're, i find that they are perfectly amazing the glue that comes in it is really good for sticking them on so you can't go wrong with eyelash lashes what i got was a new beauty blender well not a real beauty blender the real techniques beauty blender so the other one was you know starting to look a bit crusty so I've thought I, I used this every day actually and so I picked up a new one. I really like this beauty blender especially for blending in my um, Elego concealer. I don't use it to apply, apply my foundation um, but I use it for my concealer. The last beauty item that I bought from, um, from Boots is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, this is a lightweight primer i've used this a couple of times and i do find that it does get rid of my pores literally your pores do look like they have disappeared until you wash your face and then you realize that they didn't quite disappear i don't use it all over my face i just use it where i see pores on my face and then the last thing i really want want to share with you guys is not really a beauty product but um if you know me you know that i am obsessed with Zara. I love their clothes and everything but I am also obsessed with Zara's perfumes. They're really inexpensive so they're good for you know daily wear you know when because I work nine to five every day and I don't want to be using my expensive perfumes to you know to my store like why why would I do that. So these perfumes are absolutely amazing for um you know for wearing every day you know when you don't want something you want something that smells really nice but you know it's not too expensive so if you're using it every day you can afford to go and buy a new one and they have so many different ones they have so many different ones and i love that every time i go into zara there's always a new one for me to buy and for me to try so so the most recent one that i picked up is um the excuse me the red vanilla and they always come in the cutest bottles as well. This is the bottle guys. It's so sleek. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. Oh gosh. But yeah. So this is. Look at that bottle. It's so nice. It's so chic. And so if you've never bought a perfume from Zara. It's a bargain. Just go ahead. Go over there and buy one. That 
is everything oh and then one more thing that i bought from superdrug is this revolution pro fix this pro fix i think this is my third bottle guys um i love this as a fixing spray i think it is absolutely amazing it's really cheap but it can it can compete with my um with my mac fix plus i mean if you're looking for a dewy finish that sets your face and leaves your face feeling refreshed for the entire day go and buy this guys if you haven't tried it i suggest you try it because i feel like it is really good for the price it is amazing and it does a, as good a job as your fix mac fix plus that's everything that i bought and um yeah thank you so much for watching my video i don't usually do hauls but i was inspired and um yeah so that's everything guys i really do hope you enjoyed my video and please come back and don't forget don't forget don't forget to subscribe to my channel just hit the subscribe button down below the red button you know you want to click it click it click it and also like this video and leave me a nice little comment and yeah i will speak to you guys in my next video bye guys Show your shoulder, show your shoulder.